Hey guys, welcome back to the Grayson Show Part 2. And today we're going to backtrack to Step 5 because we forgot to put on the wing mount. So, I got all my screws right here. And then I got my screwdriver, of course. And, and then after we uh get the wing mount on what are we going to do then we're going to um get the shocks built and then the transmission and then move on to the transmission right so i'm going to put you guys on time lapse and he's going to start the build guys so that completes step one through nine as you can see we got the whole front end assembled how was your first shock building experience not good i stabbed myself <laughs> shocks are a pain in the butt but you got it so now in the next steps which we're actually going to do uh tomorrow morning uh when we're when I'm coffeeed up and Grayson's not tired and uh, we're gonna start on the transmission. And uh, so here we've got our tube of marine grease because this is what I really like using in the uh, uh, transmissions versus the uh, little baby tiny tube of Tamaya grease that they give you. <coughs> That's good. For, like Grayson used it for holding the bushings in there or you know lubing little things up whatever but uh yeah so far we've got the uh, front end completely built now so servos in there servo saver body mount rear body mount yeah so we're coming right along next up coming to gear town all right dad's contribution to the grayson show other than uh, giving him some little bits of help uh, whenever he needs it was uh, I painted the driver figure and as you can see he's got dirty cheeks nose whatever um, and uh, definitely a dirty suit and then I did for the first time on a RC car I used to do models all the time but for the first time on an RC car I did tire riding it isn't perfect, but I think it turned out pretty good for her not doing it for probably 25, 30 years, something like that. And uh, I used the uh, liquid chrome pen, not that uh, mirror chrome, I guess. Not that, uh, you know, tires would actually have mirror chrome on them, but that's what I had that had the smallest tip, and I think it worked pretty darn good. So anyway, back to Grayson building. Hey guys, it's a new day, and I got a special guest and your name is and he's our little neighbor and I'm going to be putting the transmission together for my rising fire so don't drop things <laughs> just the little tiny tube of grease all right so direction say put your small bearing in that hole right there so pops right in there. And Here's then, a brush you can use for your grease if you don't want to get it all over your fingers. And then here on this side you put the big bearing in. It's also a good idea to put a little bit of grease inside of there just so as it's rolling on the shaft if those bearings aren't sealed which those are sealed bearings but that way it gets a little bit of grease inside of there so just before you put that in there squirt some grease into the hole this, is, this stuff's really thick, thick. technical difficulties put a little bit on each side that way there's grease in there it just makes me feel better about it Now, 
now, <laughs> what are you gonna do? Now I gotta put the shaft in my bearings. Matt, just put a little bit of grease on it and kind of work it on with your brush or your fingers. Here, let me show you a trick here. Thank if you roll it up, one. roll it up so it's bent like that, and then just kind of push up from the bottom if you can with your hand. Make it easier. It's like maybe, maybe. Well, with big hands like mine it makes it easier. I don't know about your tiny little oh, little man hands. Okay, and I just spread that grease over the whole shaft, hold it on the very ends. So we didn't record it, but uh, we just went out and did a little bash session. Uh, Gavin was driving a little booger beetle that I got from uh, JB's RC's. If you don't know who JB is, go check out his channel. I'm already uh, Grayson and I were driving, uh, I was driving the uh, Jeg's truck and Grayson was driving the uh, Red or Larlo buggy which we haven't driven in quite a while. No, it's pretty dang fast. And uh, we were just out in the street having fun. It's a beautiful day out but I want to get a video out to you guys so I want Grayson to uh, get start getting this thing built. And he's learning as he goes. And Gavin wanted to check things out so all right you're uh, you're good there. Now so Get your transmission case. Oh, we gotta, yeah, get your transmission case. Yes, Make sure you got the right side. Yep. Okay. Now, which way does that spur gear go in there? Okay. So now, after you get that into its slot, you get it in the right spot. Sometimes it's easier to stick the shaft in there first. Nope, nope. Sometimes it's easier to stick the shaft in first and then put the gear on top of the shaft. That's what I typically do. Here, let Dad help. So that's gonna go right there. The shaft is gonna go right there. So stick that in the hole. Here, just take the shaft completely out. Okay, you got it. See how it's in the hole now? You just, you were hydrolocked because of grease. So now, you put that in there. See how nice and smooth that is? Okay, now you can take some grease, put it on your paintbrush, and spread it over your gear there. I already got enough grease on the paintbrush. Put a little bit more on there. Never hurts. Getting it? I'm glad that it's thick, but man. We've got uh, the RC Truggy that we gave to our little friend Craig. It's going to be coming back. He's having some technical difficulties to that, and uh, him and his dad are having a hard time figuring that out so uh all right i'm going to see if i can figure it out for him can you give me a pump so down? now grayson's going to move on to the next steps and uh i'm going to put you on time lapse for that but he wanted to be on some live video with his friend gavin
guys, that takes us through step one through 13. You got the transmission all built. Sounds good. It makes like a weird noise, but that's just the grease on the inside. So now we uh, have to go find some uh, uh, solder. I got my soldering iron out and I can't find where I put my solder, so I'm going to go check my toolbox out in the garage. And we're going to use a Holmes Hobbies 21 turn motor. We're using the Holmes Crawlmaster Sport 21 turn 550. And that will be a pretty awesome motor for this thing. So. All right, dab some solder in. All right, take the heat off. Oh, you took the solder off. Gotta be quick about it. Just dab it. Just heat it from underneath. There you go. Blow on it. Good solder. Okay. Solder. Salter. Solder. Yeah, let's get it straight up and down again. Don't touch the motor part with it. Okay. Little dab of solder, remove your heat. Dab of solder on the top. Remove your heat. Oh, I'm losing the camera. All right, we're good. Grayson just soldered his motor wires on. All right, hey Grayson, what are you doing? I'm getting the pinion gear on, so then I got the perfect measurement. And that's right about perfect. dead nuts, huh? Watch your face, and I will tighten it up. Maybe. You loosened it up, didn't you? No, I didn't. All right, get that in there. motor gasket to the end of the pinion. Get tight and make sure when you flip down that you're on your flat. You're on the flat. All right so now what's your next step going to be? You're going to be putting the motor in the hole right? And making sure you're you align everything let your screw holes line up Okay, we got to make sure you're using the right two screw holes. If not, we got to turn that washer. Where the screw holes are, the mesh is perfect. Okay, well, pull it back out, straight out from where you're at. Okay, so you got a hole there and a hole there. So which two screws you're going to be using? That one and that one, right? All right, put it, your motor screws through the nope. They got to go through the motor cover first.
Okay, now set it down on the flat. Turn your axles both at the same time, same direction, and it should turn your motor. I can't turn. I'm here, weakling. Ugh. It's okay. turning the motor. Did it turn the motor? Yeah. Because I didn't feel it turn the motor. Well, so I saw it turn the motor. We're going to stick our <clears throat> adapters on here and. Everything sounds and feels good. All right, we'll just leave those adapters on there for now. All right, so that concludes that part. And uh, I'm gonna put you back on time lapse. This video might be a little long, so I apologize for that, but he wants to finish the chassis, whether I we get- finish the car. Whether we get the whole thing done or not. So anyway, I'm gonna put you back on time lapse. suspension and the transmission all done and we got the whatever those boing thingies the are. hopper springs and uh, we got the wheels and tires on so the chassis is complete now we just got to put on um, the electronics in you got to put the electronics in do the body the body and put the wing stuff on so that'll be in the next episode. <laughs> Hopefully this uh, episode of the Grayson Show didn't take too long. But anyway. Thank you for watching the Grayson Show. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And check out our merch store, iowabudgetrcbashers.com. Uh, we had an issue with uh, Teespring, but we got it all straightened out now. And they're sending our stuff out. So iowabudgetrcbashers.com. Get you some shirts or some hats. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching.